Este rectángulo. ¿De qué color? ¿Qué? En español. The most powerful curriculum in the school is contained in the people who are learning here and the people who are teaching here. Well, I think we start really with the mission statement of the school. Um, we're thinking about you know, lifelong learners. We're thinking about children becoming adults who will be socially involved. I do think that the school offers a genuine, self-caring, child-based curriculum in which children can grow and explore the very things that they are interested in with expanding their knowledge of the world around them. When you have a standard textbook program and you just follow along with the storyline and you just follow with the page-to-page -page curriculum, you don't have as deep thinking as when you start to say, well, let's analyze not only just the history, but who's writing the history. What's that word called? Encounter. Okay, could be called an encounter. Another way of looking at it, it would be, who is all involved in this story? The children are required to look at things from many different angles, to understand the notion of empathy from a curriculum point of view. I would expect an eighth grader at Gordon School to be able to say what they think, but I'd also expect them to be able to switch seats and say what a peer thinks and feels with respect and clarity, and to be able to stand in someone else's shoes, see the world from their perspective. That's multi cultural education. I think part of what I like about our approach is that it's students learning from each other. It's not an expert up in the front of the room pontificating. To be a Gordon teacher means that you need to be connected to all those aspects of teaching, but those aspects of who you are as a human being and how you help your children to understand who they are as human beings. There's a small school and you kind of have a small community. You do get to know the students outside of your own grade or outside of the classes that you teach. And so you can see development um, in them from year to year. The teacher has one-on-one -on -one time with you. The students get to know each other really well. I could probably go through all the kids in like the middle school and tell you their name, what grade they're in, and like a lot of stuff about them. We're all friends. Everybody knows everybody and there aren't as much cliques as there are in other schools, I think. Our after-school program, it's called Gators. We have three-year-olds in the same space as nine-year-olds. And so you start to get these relationships that form between third and fourth graders and maybe nursery and preschool students. So these little ones come to Gators and are immediately swept up by older students to play with them. Gordon focuses primarily on elementary education. That's what makes it so unique from the other independent schools. The fact that it just goes up to eighth grade, she's not influenced by the older children and their, what comes with it. They see it as a nurturing community. It's got a fantastic multicultural and diversity component to the curriculum. But embedded in that is rigor, academic rigor and excellence. Now folks, here's a key thing for you guys to remember. If you notice the format of the book, you have problems from previous chapters in every chapter. Well, what's the label of these columns? Um, X plus 2X plus X plus 2. It's not just about how they did on a test, although that is important and is certainly relevant for them, but it's also about how can they articulate what they know. How, again, can they apply it in many different ways? We want our kids to learn by doing. We want them to see that there are a lot of different ways of doing something so that they don't see things as already manufactured and handed to them, but as being part of a process. What I remember most about being here in this school was that I was very independent and they could really focus on my learning style. We can fine-tune what we do so that we can hook in their previous experiences to what we're wanting them to stretch and learn new. We try to offer as many entry points into our curriculum as we can. The biggest um, project we do in sixth grade are memory maps. We draw the whole world by memory. We basically draw every country, every continent by memory. It's a lot more helpful and fun than just studying them in textbooks and stuff. It's like a really hard thing to do, but the teachers are so helpful. We spend the whole year studying all the, we learn all the countries of the world. The staff of this place, the, the, the teachers here, uh, hold themselves to a very high standard. They take equity, ownership in your child's education. We are the parents for the day. Um, and I think that many Gordon teachers look at it that way. We are taking care of people's babies, no matter how old they are, and that is um, precious work. My major role is to excite kids about science. That it's not about information, 
It's not about even major concepts, but more to love science, to be comfortable with it, and to realize that they can answer their own questions through their investigation. Paying attention to how children think before you decide how you're going to instruct. It's stunning how often in schools we don't figure out how children are thinking before we start teaching them. What are the things we can be doing that are going to advance the likelihood that these children are well educated where we don't have to worry so much about what others might think we're doing? Like, are we meeting somebody else's expectation about education? No, we're gonna do what we think is in the best interest of children. They have a very integrated curriculum, so what you might be learning in history class or math class actually is uh, incorporated into an art project. The beauty of Gordon, really, is that whether you really are musical or athletic or artistic, the kids feel that they're musicians and athletes and artists. Unlike a lot of different schools where you drop off at the curb and you go on about your day, you are invited and you're always welcome to come into the school, make yourself a cup of coffee, wander around for a little bit. It's an enchanting place to be, to come into the life of your children and see what they're up to during their day. They want you here. A lot of schools are like, bye bye at drop off. You know, that's it. It's us and them sort of feeling. Not like that here. It's a great community builder. The teachers, the parents, the children, we all work together. And there's a level of investment and accountability that everyone is very clear about. We want kids to have many, many different role models. So what our teachers do at Gordon is they provide the students various racially diverse artists, musicians, scientists, authors, so that kids see, wow, they're all different types of people that make wonderful contributions to our society.